God said, if you'll get up and move, no matter how you feel, I'm a God that knows how to cover you because I will allow the enemies of your life to think that you are mightier than you are. another great song going into a year and going into any place that sometimes things have not been right we've been got we've gotten rubbed the wrong way and oh it, it just stuff in the past just didn't go and uh, and all of that and I love this song says don't worry about it look to your neighbor and and confess this song to him say the worst is over and the best is yet to come Woo! My God. Well, the worst 
is over, but the best is yet to come. I said the worst is over, and the best is yet to come. All your midnights are behind you. Get ready, you're going to see the sun. Well, the worst is over, and the best is yet to come. <laughs> I said the worst, the worst is, the worst over, is over, and the best the is yet to come. come. I said the, the worst, worst is, is over, is and the best the is, is yet to come. to come. All of your old midnights are now behind you. Hey, you're going to see the sun. Well, the worst is over, and the best is yet to come. You want to talk about troubles? Well, friend, you're not alone. You want to talk about some of your old bad times? Well, I've had some of my own. But I woke up the champion within me. And I said, come on, child, you're going to overcome. Get up now. The worst is over. Thank God the best is yet to come. The worst is over. <laughs> no matter what you're facing, it's gonna you're move. Gonna see that Whatever you are needing, child of God, God is capable to do. Whatever Satan has stolen, listen to me, God's gonna make him bring it back. Oh, seven times more than you've had before. Believe it, it's a fact. I said the worst, the worst is the over, worst it's over, ah, the best the is worst yet worst to come. I said the worst, the worst is the worst over, is and the best the is worst yet worst to come. To come. All of your midnights on behind you, you're going to see the sun, yeah. The worst is over, and the best is yet to come. Well, soon with standing, listen, I know the graves, they're gonna open wide. The graves are gonna open We're wide. gonna receive our promised crown and every tear got a wipe from our eyes. Our sins will be all forgiven. We're gonna hear God say, well done. You see, cause the worst, it's all over. Come on in, the best is yet to come. <laughs> The worst, the worst is the over, worst is and over. the best the is worst yet worst to come. I said the worst, the worst is, the is the over. Worst is My over. best, your the best, best is yet to come. to come. All your midnights are behind you, and now you are going to see the sun. Well, the worst is over, and the best, the best is yet to come.
greatest strength uh, sometimes uh, uh, is their greatest weakness because sometimes uh, when there is a rejection of you a rejection of what you believe a rejection of where you stand a rejection to just open up and go for it and go all the way with God and you young people just say I don't care what everybody else is doing in school and everybody else is doing and uh, uh, their rejection made them a candidate for the direction that God wanted to give them in their life yeah, I'm about to preach a little bit now huh? that simply means that yes so we are different I didn't say we were better I said we were different because we believe in the the, the, the Holy Spirit the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and, and, and the gifts of the Spirit and because sometimes we think, well, I, I just wish we could be accepted a little better in this Johnson County than we are because I know that there are people that look and they, through the years, I've been here coming up on my 30th year and, um, and I know what they've said through the years about us, even in our old building, even when I came and was over where 
that Providence Church is now, and, and then over in our old sanctuary for a while, and then we were having church, and we were, you know, and believing God and, and different things and all that. And, and it got out around that we were growing along and stuff. But what was, what was being said was, uh, uh, was, was, because, was that it, that's that church that speaks in tongues, or that's that tongue-talking church. And if you don't know that, then you need, you need to know that. And so people would say those things out, you know. And, and sometimes if we're not careful, we want, we want to fit in. But if you're going to walk in the fullness of God, you can't fit into that. Now, we, I mean, I, let me just hurry in this little point. And then there were... There's other things that's been said, you know, about we, we, want, we want to just be a, kind of a, you know, a, an uppity church and a very important church in, in the community. We don't, uh, you know, and, and, and so uh, other things that's being said about sometimes about the church, I don't mean this to be ugly, but you know what's happened. And if you don't, you're blind and, or you've been living in a cave somewhere south of old Latha. So... <laughs> Uh, the, the, the other thing that is said, you know, is that, well, that's that church that has all the African-American people in it. <laughs> guilty. <laughs> I mean, you're guilty. <laughs> you know. I mean, like, like that's something, something, you know, but see, see, to a lot of people, that they, they, they think, well, man, with all of that going on and this, and it can come from both sides, whether it's black or white, that, that attitude. You see what I'm saying? Uh, and so, therefore, sometimes we get to think, I, I want to blend in with everybody, and I'm not being ugly. I'm not trying, we're not any better than anybody, but there is a distinction about the call and anointing of God in this house. It, it started a long, long time ago. It just keeps happening. It just keeps revolving and taking place. <laughs> and we need to understand that rejection sometimes uh, can usher in things into the church. I'm about to preach. Uh, and, and, and usher uh, the, the positions and put you in the place uh, that you need to be in so that when God begins to deal with you and move in you, uh, you can perceive what he really wants to do. Uh, it's because, see, see our, 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 what some people people call a weakness is our strength. Our strength lies in the fact that we do have a division and we do have different culture. That, that's been our strength. The, 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 the part of having a praise and a shout, I'm not talking about goofiness. I'm talking about excitement and praise and we, know, and we need to get more of it back. And, and, and that, that's not something wrong. My God, that's, that's, a, that's a positive place for the church. Can I get an amen somewhere? God is waiting you on your most extreme reach, and he won't do for you what you can do for yourself. But he said, I want to be involved. These four lepers made a decision, and they, deli they deliberated on it. They talked about it, and it was a real tough decision. And one guy said, we're not going to sit here and die. I don't feel like moving, but let's not die. That's where somebody today, somebody in here, I've got to make a decision. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die with my, uh, with my families having the need they do. I'm not going to die with my spouse house needs me. I'm not going to die. My kids need me. I, I'm talking about it, not just physically, but I'm not going to die the church and all of these things uh, because you cannot continue to sit there and think about them and dwell on them and meditate on them. You know what you got to do? You got to get up and you have got to move because the answer is not where you are. It's where you're moving. Oh, if you deliberate there long enough, you'll start murmuring about it. If you start murmuring about it, you'll start wondering if it will happen. And you'll go from deliberating to worry to murmur to complaining, and then finally it'll just hinder the whole thing and you'll just, still, you'll just sit there and die. If God's, if God's God and God's in it, I got to go for it. They said it's time to make a decision. We can't deliberate any longer. Because to not make a decision is to make a decision. Why should we here and die? 
If we go over and perish, we're going to perish anyway. But man, see, the reason they had to understand if they moved, if they got a miracle, the city was going to get a miracle. You got to move because you got people looking at you and counting on you. And if you move and you, be, and you get blessed and you get in on the, the, the prosperity of whatever it is, uh, other people are going to get in on it. Can I get an amen? And so they begin to move towards the city. And when they got there, the Bible said the Syrians had become so disoriented and confused, they thought that all these other armies were coming against them. Oh, God knows how to take somebody that will move in faith and anoint it and multiply it. And understand this, church, when you start stepping, God will cause any enemy and any mess in your life life to become terrified of you. You don't hear me this morning. Some of you don't recognize terror because it's got dressed up in a lot of different ways. But the greatest compliment that anybody could give some of you is to fight you. They don't understand you're not coming by yourself. You may look raggedy. You may smell rag. My God, I wish I was at the potter's house. They would shout. I, you, you you might look raggedy, you might smell raggedy, you might look a bad way, but they don't understand you're carrying something as you move. My God, Satan isn't afraid of where you have been. He's not caring where this church was five years ago or 20 years ago or 10 years ago, but I got news. If somebody ever gets a hold of what I'm preaching this morning, he's terrified at where we're going. The shadow of Kohoya. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The moment you make up your mind, I'm going to go somewhere. I know one thing, I'm not going to stay here because there's nothing right here where I'm sitting at. Amen. I, I, I'm, uh, you, you'll start attracting attention because the enemies and the things that are trying to tear you down, may I say to you, don't be afraid because they're afraid of you. Now, they're not afraid of you as long as you sit. They're not afraid of you as long as you stay in a place. Uh, but sometimes they don't know that when you got up, you didn't feel like getting up. You were a mess inside. But but some of you got up and started marching on credit. <laughs> Woo! Has anybody in here ever, ever, ever marched on credit? Has anybody in here ever praised the Lord on credit? Has anybody in here ever thanked God on credit? You didn't want to raise your hands. People wondered, what are you doing raising your hands? You just got a death sentence. But you said, that's all right. The devil is alive. I'm going to praise him anyhow. You're more credible, shy. I've had to get up and preach on credit before. I didn't have anything going for me. I didn't feel very good. I wasn't on at, at my best with what I needed to be. I didn't. I, I, I didn't preach as good as I should have. I didn't come across as good as I should have. I, I just wasn't on my on my A game. But I came out anyhow, and I said, "I'm going to move to the pulpit anyhow. I'm going to preach on credit. I'm going to shout on credit. Hallelujah!" They don't know you're dressed on credit and you're moving by faith and your heart's pumping in your chest and you may be at the end of your rope and you're about to lose your mind. If God doesn't help you, you won't be able to make it. But I got to tell you this. God said if you'll get up and move no matter how you feel, I'm a God that knows how to cover you. Because I will allow the enemies of your life to think that you are mightier than you are because I know what your secrets are. Hello, everybody. I'm Pastor Mike Perkey. It's exciting to come to you today, and I trust you're having a great day. It's just a real joy to come and preach 
and sing and share the good news of Jesus Christ right here on the Great Church Channel, TBN. I've got an incredible gift offer I want to mention to you today. I'm going to bring back what I've been talking about the last old month or two, and I want you to get our new CD. I really, so many of you are enjoying it called Blessed. And we got it just put out there, spelled out B-L-E-S-S-E-D. It's got incredible songs, some new songs and some older songs. But listen to this. We're also going to put in the gift offer this DVD of myself and Brother Bill Winston. Brother Bill Winston has been here in our church several times and preaches like nobody hardly can on, on income and prosperity. And so we put together uh, Overcoming the Mountain of Lack. It's a DVD you've got to get of uh, Brother Bill Winston and myself. And we're preaching on these subjects and talking about how you can come out of debt, how God's blessing can come upon your life. And we're doing it from the Word of God. So, hey, you've got to get it. And just for a gift of $20, now I said that right, $20. Do it immediately. Do it right now. Call that number on your screen. If you get busy, keep hitting the redial. But get this DVD of myself and uh, Brother Bill Winston and this new uh, CD of my music called Blessed. Do it right now. Don't put it off or you'll forget it. Do it now. Call that number or look on our uh, uh, email and, and, and mikeperky.org, whatever. But get a hold of this gift offer. $20 in the name of Jesus. I'll see you a little later.